Hey everybody, Charlie Mike here. Um, we're doing a, well, Saturn top review uh, on my wife's beater car, uh, 2001 Saturn. And she went to college in, yeah. All paid for. Don't laugh, it's paid for. <laughs> but I digress. The real reason we're here is for this uh, double on the rocks of ancient age cheap bourbon. Which, uh, yeah, it, it works. But the real reason we're here is for this, which is a snowy Texas, um, what do you call it, uh, hunter slash boot knife. It was from, uh, I think it was $59. Or something like that. A ridiculously low amount for a snowy, but these are hand ground 154 cm, and it came as a kit, I guess, with um, a piece of wood or something, and to make your own handles. This whole thing is all drilled full of handle, drilled full of holes, and let's see if we can see some holes through it. Okay. Oh yeah, you can kind of see there. Um, what he basically wanted the customer is Mr. Math Straight Razor or Elvis Alive, as you know him from the forums. He basically wanted um, me to do the cord wrap for him and. To make him a um, another uh, inside the waistband with um, the the waistband frog uh, IWB static line sheath, and the last one I made for the his uh, menace boss, uh, I did a leather overlay because this is going to be uh, I don't know if you all wear underwear I don't, but um, this is going to be uh, between your pants and your ass basically, and uh, you don't want kydex chafing on you because. Uh, the knife that's uncomfortable to carry is, uh, guess what, the knife you're probably not going to be carrying. So, um, use garment grade, uh, you know, salvage from that trench coat, like I've been using for the last year and a half or so, or maybe more. Uh, overlay on a .060 Kydex. Uh, got about eight rivets in here. I'm going to drill uh, the holes out on the rivets on the bottom here for um, attachment of 550 static line. But uh, let me get to the knife itself. Uh, put it on the phone for a second. Okay, here's a knife. And uh, he wanted me to grind him a, uh, a, a partial double edge. And he said, you know, fuck it, you can always take it on a full double edge. But I thought it looked kind of attractive with kind of a Weehawk kind of a, you know, a style blade to it. So here it is. And believe it or not, this 154CM was a pain in the ass to grind. I mean, I, I killed a couple belts on it. I mean, they were partially killed already, but still. Um, anyways, uh, I would say it is like, you know, like combat sharp up to maybe about this point. And, you know, like actually cut your finger by touching it sharp about right around here. But on the other hand, uh, let's see the lighting, get the lighting a little better here. Um, I went ahead and reprofiled the entire, um, edge with, uh, a very well-worn 220, uh, grit aluminum oxide belt, and now it is a, a convex edge, and it may not be very, I mean, you can shave hair, uh, you know, when you try to, but a mirrored edge is only good for shaving, pretty much, you know, for razors. And for taking pictures of knives and posting them on the forums. For like, look at my mirrored edge, pussies. Haha, <laughs> beat that faggot. But yeah, a mirrored edge won't really hold on to, hold, hold up to long-term use. But this, with its micro serrations, um, it will. And like I said, it's not the best at shaving hair. It will do it. But this really excels in chopping boxes and paper and people. Uh, I, I guess you could, uh, you could deduce that from what I'm saying. And um, this is exactly uh, what this is. Uh, this niche this knife fills is a self-defense blade, because he wanted um, the sheath uh, done in a way so he can uh, draw from uh, right-handed, um, doing a inverted edge technique. You know, like Murkoff teaches. So um, that's how I got set up. And uh, well, I guess uh, to quote Forrest Gump. Um, that's all I got to say about that. Alright guys, oh yeah, um, if you need any kydex done for the snowy, um, uh, 
what's it called, uh, Texas uh, uh, Hunter Boot or whatever, you know, of these knives. Um, I have three more um, uh, Kydex, uh, two-piece Kydex sheets, about like seven, eight rivets or so in each one. Um, I didn't do any attachments or any tech lock or anything because I don't have the damn things. But um, I have three more of those sheets as is, and I am selling them for $35, and that includes USPS priority shipping with confirmation. So you're really paying 30 bucks plus shipping, you know, if you think about it. But, um, yeah, if you need them, I've got them. I have three left, so uh, come and get them. All right, later. Stay safe. God bless. And, uh, yeah, here's to you.